Hello Techies. In this session, we will learn how to work with list members action in Microsoft Teams as part of Power Automate Desktop. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. The main purpose of this action is to get the list of members based on a thread type such as chart, channel, and many more. All right, let me show you a small scenario. Let me switch to the Microsoft Teams. If you observe in our previous tutorials, we have created a chart with the name of administrator discussion, correct? In that administrator discussion, we have added few members. In my administrator discussion, I'm having three members. How can we know that what are the number of members that we have? You can see over here, I'm having view and add participants, right? Let me click on view and add participants. There you can see I'm having three members over here or the participants over here, such as a Modi administrator, Nestor and Patti Fernandez, all right? From there, if you want to add a people, then you can add the people or if you want to leave, then you can go ahead and you can leave it from the particular group chart, all right? How can I go ahead and get all the list of members by using Power Automate Desktop? There, we are going to use the action called list members, all right? As the first thing, we are going to add the connection reference, which we are going to connect to the Microsoft Teams, and then I'm going to click on OK. Now, the first parameter is the thread type. If you drop down that, we are having group chart as the thread type. Let me select that. And then if you see the second parameter over here, if you drop down that, I will get all the group charts which are available in Microsoft Teams with a particular user. There I'm having administrator discussion. Let me select that. And the list of people will be stored inside my variable that is list members response. All right, let me click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. If you observe over here, it is trying to retrieve the list of members based on the particular thread type, which we have given as a group chart as part of the list members action. Flow has executed successfully and the output has been stored inside the flow variable that is list members response. Let's double click on that. There you can see in the list members response variable, I'm having O data count as three. And the value you can see, if you click on more, we are having three members in the particular group chart, all right? That has been stored in the index zero, one, two, all right? Now, if you want to view the members over there in the particular group chart, click on more. There you can see the property with the value of zero, index zero, I'm having ID, role is the particular person, role is owner, and the display type is Patti Fernandez. And there you can see user ID, email, and then tenant ID. These are all the values which we are having for the index zero. So please keep in mind this user ID we are going to use further in the different parts of the actions which are available in Microsoft Teams. Now let me go back. And then if you go for the index zero, I'm having another value. There you can see I'm having display name as MOD administrator and his email ID is admin at the rate of m365 dot on microsoft.com. And there you can see the user ID is so-and-so and the role is owner. All right. Now let me go back. And there if you see the finally I'm having index two, that is third member. There you can see I'm having the display name as Nestor. And the email ID is Nestor W at the rate of m365 dot on microsoft.com. And the user ID also is available. And the roles you can see over here as owner. All right. Let me click on close. I hope you understand how to retrieve or get all the members based on the particular thread by using the action, list members action as part of this tutorial.